It's the return of the ladies in leather who lunch and les off. Wow. During lunch breaks. Wow, that's a lot of L's. Power lunch, let's les off in our leather. It's our first favourites video of the year. It's a little late. It's right on More time. L's. More L's. It's a, a little, little late. late. It's This video is all about leathery lesbian alliteration. Right, so it's 2018, new favourites and shitters. Let's start with the fave, go. Okay, so I'm really excited about this actually. I've got some with me. I'm gonna start out with something very light hearted, just cute, just to get the ball rolling, nothing too heavy. It's right here, I prepared it. It is this apple and mango squash that Nova and I have really come Where to is enjoy. It from? Well, that one's Tesco. Now, and the we... thing is, this is gonna disappear with the green screen. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I didn't, didn't think about that. We never do. Right, well, you can see the back of it is probably better. You can see all of the nutritional information just here. It's a Tesco smooth and exotic 50% fruit juice, apple and mango. Waitrose do a very similar one. And we have really come to enjoy this squash. I feel like Americans don't get squash, do you? It's like like a weak syrup that you just, you maybe do like as much as you would like a measure of um, I think liquor. it's like one part to four parts water, is it? Or three parts? Not the way you drink it, you drink it really weak. Uh, my mother always drank squash very, very weak, so I have come to enjoy it not too strong. No, I always think about it like, if you like your liquor strong, then just pour the same amount with the squash. Um, squash is the sort of thing that if it's cheap, it's hideous. And when you're little, you think that adults pass it off as that's acceptable, and it tastes like piss. But this is so rich yeah. and creamy, and it's like you're drinking sweet. Creamy? It's a creamy, creamy, creamy. Right. So my first one is Tesco's apple and mango squash. It's so refreshing, especially if you're, you know, when you've been drinking loads of booze, you know about that, <laughs> and midway through the night you wake up and you want to die because you're so thirsty and you have dreams. Water. You have dreams about getting you into drink water. getting into a vending machine, but you can't get the drink out because you're that thirsty. I've had those dreams. Have some of this. All right, your turn. Oh, right. Okay. Well, this is very obvious for you. You don't spend your money on anything else. So... Primark, as lots of people know, they've got great like nails. I get all of my nails from Primark. These are as well. They're great, but now they're even better. We went to Primark the other day and I bought so many boxes of nails. Oh my God, let me show you guys. So now they do like fancier ones. Normally they're like two pound a box and now for three pound 50, you can get <gasps> unicorn nails with jennies on them. How fun. Um, <laughs> Throw it down. Precious jewel nails. How fun. Oh, precious jewels, jewelry jewels, fanny jewels. More precious jewels. More precious fanny. Mermaid nails, which are like a lovely chrome. And like my favorite ones, and I hope that they do some more in this series. They've done like a collaboration with Disney. Um, and these are even cheaper. These are only three pounds. But they've got some little mermaid nails. Which, right. Well, where are you? Where are you? you you're sick in front of the lens. I went into How Primark. How cool are they? They're amazing. They are very cheap. They are very good. And the designs are great. They're very sort of, you know, durable. I went in once and picked up what I thought was the most ghastly pair of nails. And I was about to go over to Nova and be like, oh my God, look at these. They're so hideous. She had them in her basket. What were they? They were those square... Square Leto nails are not a thing, Primark. Stop trying to make Square Leto happen. I don't know, okay. It's like a stiletto, but then the end's been cut off crudely, like they've been trapped in a I door. I don't like it. No, it's ugly as you like. But yeah, well done, that was a great one. Um, but yeah, so yeah, Primark nails. So, great. shitters, my first shitter is going to be this charcoal toothpaste. Okay, but you've just bought two more tubes of it today. Well, if you'll let me explain, Nova, I bought one and it was buy one, get one free. That's the other one. Right. But it doesn't work. So why did you buy more? Because you still have to brush your teeth. Well, it's then just buy something else. It's fine toothpaste, but this is, this is the gag. This has got activated charcoal in it, which activated charcoal is as, as useful as Nova's clammy asshole when it comes to brushing your teeth. It doesn't, right. it doesn't whiten your teeth. You see all these Instagram fuckers, like activated charcoals, the best things in sliced bread. We got that bread downstairs. 
but <laughs> this doesn't make your teeth whiter. I know what you're thinking. Oh my God, Olympia, you've got the most gorgeous teeth. Thank you. Stop kissing me up. But it's because I've got black lipstick on and it makes them look whiter. Nova's got purple lipstick so on. So my teeth probably look quite yellow. Yellow, so yellow, I can't believe it's not butter. So that's, so this is a non-branded, oh, it's super drug. Yeah. That's why it's shit, because it's super drug. I thought it was a brand, like charcoal brand. It's super drug. I don't understand what your problem is with this toothpaste. It doesn't make your teeth whiter. It, and it, yet you bought another two, two more. It today. was buy one get one free, so this will be our friend John's birthday present. He has a funny thing about teeth. I just feel um, like why wouldn't you buy something else? Because what else is there? What All... did you use before? Another tube of this. No, but before. I use Arm and Hammer. But well, that why didn't you just get that? Because that doesn't make my teeth whiter either. I, I don't think you can get your teeth whiter with toothpaste because I've used whitening toothpaste my entire life. I don't oh, bitch, where? I don't think it works. No, it doesn't work. So up yours to toothpaste. Right. So one of my favourite shows has been cancelled and I'm really upset and it's Once Upon a Time. I'm really yeah. upset. I love this show. It's had its ups and downs. I understand that it's lost a big load of its like viewership um, because it has been going on for a very, very long time. Um, but I felt like a lot of the fans thought that it should have ended at the end of last season because it kind of did tie everything up. I don't know, this season I think is amazing. They've tried to revamp it all. They've lost half of the cast, but the way they've spun that is very clever. They've jumped forward in time. They've got new characters and it feels like a new show. And I'm really upset because I love this new format. I love the new show. Do you know what was the so, problem with Once Upon a Time is every single episode, that stupid smug bitch, what is she called? Lana Perilla, what's she called? The Regina. Yeah. She's the best. Every fucking episode it would be, I've got his heart. And now I will destroy Storybrooke. No, no, she's good now. And then it was, I will get his heart back and then return to destroy Story. No, no, she's good it was now. the same shit no. over and over again. She always got her way and it was just regurgitated. Oh, well, we'll just introduce like Aladdin or something. No one likes Aladdin, it's no one's favourite. Do you know what though? I do like the theme tune. No, you're not allowed to like it. And it, it reminds me of when Nova and I were first courting. Gross. I've just touched her leg in the hope that she would have on a nice nude fishnet and it is just hair. Yes. She's not wearing anything. No. Hairy, hairy balls down here. Ladies, okay. like Kingdom of Leather. Every Kingdom of Leather. All right, okay, is no, it my shit show? Oh, you always leave. Do you remember that? Kingdom of Leather. The better than half price sale. Now on at Kingdom of Leather. That's their bedroom next door. So they're probably trying to sleep. It's quite late. And I'm just shouting Kingdom of Leather. Have you returned to set? Yeah. You're just, like Joan Crawford. You always run off to that trailer every chance you get. have a Pepsi Cola. She's getting younger every time she comes out. <laughs> <gasps> yeah, right. Okay, my next, next fave. My next fave is an online shopping. There goes the squash an online shopping destination called Killstar oh. is my absolute go-to. And I, did, I bought a cardigan the other day that I was gonna show you, but I couldn't find it. But I have purchased these shoes. <sighs> they are a velvet moment. They I don't are, hate them, I have to say. They are a Spice Girl um, sort of buffalo looking platform, super platform, Why don't they in a velvet. Buffaloes? That's the brand. It was a well, Spanish brand. They, these aren't called buffaloes, mm. but the brand who invented this, I think they were buffaloes. I do have some of those downstairs, but we won't try. Anyway, Killstar. So it's like a, they call themselves luxury occult items. And they basically, I don't know if it's an American brand or a UK brand, I'm not really sure, who the fuck cares. But everything on there is like gothy and like emo-y, you know, tragic, really super embarrassing. Tragic. Really rough, but great prices, great shit on there. I've got these shoes, I've bought like a duster. Boy stuff as well, I've got over a nice a jumper. Of things before, yeah. Oh, two actually, great yeah. stuff from Killstar. That are really nice. And um, so go and look at it if you wish to look like me and Nova. Nova doesn't really wear, wear the stuff I get her. Yes I do. She did. Because you only bought it for me for Christmas. These are a UK nine, which is just about good enough for me. Any smaller and I would get hammer toe. <laughs> but you know, they're so cute, absolutely adore them. Okay, your turn. 
Oh my god, no, what are you doing? You're having a stroke. Fast. Is the face in the correct place? Arm. Does the arm hot and stay up? Yes. That was a JLo song. Speech. Can't understand what you're saying. Time to call. I wanted to like talk about one of my favourite albums that came out a few weeks ago by Sam Shui. He's a YouTuber. He released one of it. I think it's his second or third original album called Trust. Mm. And he's put a few videos up for some of the songs. I just think it's a great album. He's kind of like, I would describe him as the male Carly Rae Jepsen. It's that kind of <laughs> pop. Like, it kind of throws back to 90s, throw back, throws back to 80s, but it still kind of has a current twist on it. It's just, I really like it, and he's got a really nice voice. And it's one of those albums where you don't really want to skip any of the songs. You kind of just love them all. So I would tell you guys to check that out. Trust by Sam Shui. I confuse Carly Rae Jepsen with... Jar of Hearts, Christina, Christina Perry. Perry. Which one is Carly Rae Jepsen? How and why? Because they look the same, they're the same person. <laughs> Which one's Carly Rae Jepsen? Hey, I just met you. Hey, I just hit you. Right. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so what is it now? Shitters. Yeah. My next shitter is something that you're going to agree with me on. It might even be one of yours, maybe okay. not. It is a uh, Netflix show, which is a, uh, a sort of reboot, if you like, called Queer Eye. Oh, I didn't, I was going to, but I feel like after watching the second episode, I don't hate it as much as I did, but I still don't want to watch the third one. I could not care less. I hate the clothes they put them in. I hate the styling. They make them. They make them go from at least in interesting individuals. All right, they make me a bit downtrodden and sh and shit. But make them sort of boring cookie cutter. Ah, oh, listen, I know they're supposed to be a nice big sort of uh, thing at the end where it's very cathartic and they become new people. It's very exciting. Let's all cry. They do a bit like cry. every single insta gay that there is. I can't cry because I'm too busy leaving the room because of that guy with the long hair, who screams. He just screams the in your face. Dresser. Listen, I mean, that's my internalised homophobia. <laughs> but he just screams. And our friend Nathan had the gall to say, oh my God, he's just like you. Exactly like you. I, His behaviour is the same. He looks the same. I think he's quite attractive. I wish I did look like that, but I don't look like him at all. I don't think um, he's attractive at I all. think it's very like, oh God, it's just bad. But there is the guy that the internet's talking about, the cute one. What does he do? The Asian one. No, 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 no. Uh, who do you mean? White guy with a cute face, dark hair. Oh, he's particularly tasty. I can't remember what he does. What's he in charge of? Well, oh, cooking. Cooking. The cooking guy. Yeah, he's really cute. So All there's right. that. Well, yeah, there's that, but it's just <laughs> so... Oh, my God. I think that originally it was sort of very voyeuristic because people liked watching gays because they yeah. were so like, oh, my God, what is that? Let's stare. I think that's probably. But right. now it's just sort of a bit mundane. It's just a, it's just a very camp. I know we're show. in the minority with this because people fucking love it, and I'm glad people like it. But like, we wanted to like it and just don't, and that upsets me. Queer eye for the terrified chump. Your, what is it? Yours, shitter. Um, yeah. If you've thought of any, um, this might be a bit controversial, but I'm not loving All Stars Three. <laughs> Well, I'm just not. Is anyone? I'm sorry, I'm just not. I'm waiting to love it, but um, I mean, I don't hate it. Don't get me wrong. Like it's, I, I, it's enjoyable to. Well, sometimes it's not enjoyable to watch. I don't know. I'm just not loving it. I think the cast haven't really done what I was hoping they would do. Like I feel like they've got rid of people a bit too soon. I mean, the challenges are a bit naff. Um, I don't know. I, it's just it's just not the show that I wanted. I think it's because I'm comparing it to All Stars 2, which was just so stellar. Um, it's more like All Stars so 1. At the moment, I'm just kind of waiting for this to finish because I'm really excited for season 10. It just seems ridiculous that the same person can win four weeks in a row, that there's something not quite right about the casting or, I don't know, there's something about it which just feels like shit and forced and no one's enjoying it, everyone's just crying. If you want to know our thoughts in great depth for each episode, check out our podcast on Ooh. that. There'll be a card coming up and we talk for about an hour for each episode. 
we really go in hard and we, you know, we get very vocal. Nova does, Nova shouts, <laughs> Nova swears. <laughs> swears and shouts I and screams swear. and swears. And let it all swears. <laughs> Britney Spears. Okay, my final favorite is a television show that I watched originally when I was maybe, when did it come out? I might've been like 18 or something. So I had just started drinking and in this show they drink a lot of wine and I love wine. So I started really drinking. This show is to blame for that actually. My mother and this show for my wine drinking habits. What is it? I used to, you know, take some, take some days off because when you're 18, you don't really do anything. You left school, but you got a summer to yourself. So I was just drinking wine and, you know, really finding myself. And it's brothers and sisters. Oh. So, oh, yeah, they do drink a lot of wine, don't they? Because well, it's they have a vineyard. They do have a vineyard somewhere through, spoiler alert, somewhere through. But this is a show that was on ABC, I think it was. Was it ABC? Yes. Um, yeah. And it, it ran from about 2000 and... There's um, too many games in that to show on any other network. Was it 2008? And it ran for 2007 for about five, was it five seasons? And it was cut in the last season because I think a lot of the cast wanted to leave. And it was it got a, shit a bit flimsy. I've just binge watched the entire thing and I've I'll made it through. It. Well, I've got a couple of episodes left, but oh. I've basically done the whole thing in about a month. And when you watch it through solidly, it is quite miserable. There's a lot of people I watched who... this when it aired and I gave up towards the end because it became so depressing. All they do is argue. People get killed off for no reason. People have like cancer and stuff. They, they do. Everyone's just miserable. People go to war and it's just lots of death and crying and fighting. My favourite character obviously is Nora. She's she's the mother. So basically, it's it's um, N Sally Field is Nora. She's the mother. And then there's all these brothers and sisters, and they're a great big family, and they have all these arguments and dinners and fights and stuff, and they all make up again. It's great. Um, all of the children, the brothers and sisters individually, they are irritating as you like. It's like being in an actual family because you sort of like them all, but individually, the worst are Rebecca and Justin. Rebecca was the whiniest, most miserable fucking she turd. the one who went on um, her own show? She is played by Emily Van Camp, and yeah. then she, uh, Revenge, Revenge was her show. She was also in The Ring too, top tip. But she was so miserable the whole way through, so there's a lot of issues with it. But it's just so cute, the music and the wine, and it's like Pasadena, like, you know. I do want to live there. You want that yeah. lifestyle. You want to live yeah. in a huge wooden house. I want all of my arguments to be about the fact that I'm losing some of my millions. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Like if that was your biggest problem. All I want to do is is come home and and Holly Harper, played by Patricia Wettig, is in your kitchen and she turns to you and she just says, I am giving you oh high food. I love doing that. That was a very obscure, specific impression. They all very, they ever do is say very niche audience. This is a family business. Yeah, they do. Oh, high food, lot. family business. Anyway, I'm. It's shit, but it's but the best thing ever. My last fave is a video game I recently finished and tweeted about called Life is Strange. Mm. I know I'm very very late to the party. Did with you this. say I tweeted about? Yeah. Adorable. And I'm very late to the party with this. It was developed by um, Don't Nod Entertainment, and I think Square Enix helped to like bring that Bertha out into the world. Um, and it was originally a five-part downloadable game, and I think because of its popularity, it was repackaged into a physical like disc. So I've got the physical copy. It's available on Steam, 360, PS3, PS4, like basically everything, and it's just such a unique game in that the graphics are quite remedial for today's standards which means that I think the focus on the story has it's just been given so much more attention it's a really interesting unique story where your choices actually do end up affecting the rest of the story because I've played games before where they give you choices and you're just like oh is that is that the only effect that it had I really feel like your input really affects what happens to these characters um, and the music is adorable. It kind of plays out like some kind of indie TV show. Each chapter is called like an episode and they have like a previous feel on Life is Strange. Um, so I love that. I feel like I'm just binge watching like some kind of indie TV show. Um, but I would definitely recommend it. When you had it on, it made me feel like we were watching like it was in the same universe as that movie Hard Candy, which I know is about pedophiles, nothing to do with that. 
but like the coloring is well, the this same. This was this this does have some dark aspects to it. It is, but like the like aesthetically, it look, the coloring and the sort of tone and the music was I thought a lot of it sounded a lot like the soundtrack from High Candy, which is nothing to do. With I just it, think but. it's very clever because it, you don't necessarily feel like you're playing a video game. It's more like a sort of TV show that you sort yeah. of decide yourself, but you know. It's very short. But what do they it's call those? Worth your time. RPG. What is that? A role playing game. Is that it? I suppose this What's is a type of RPG. I don't know gaming. Not. I don't know any of that shit. Oh, what is it now? Shitters. Well, my last shitter is the current situation regarding the uh, gun ownership laws in the United States of America. Oh, wow. Okay. So we really went for it. Is my last shitter. It's so embarrassing at this point. I'm speaking to you, Donald. Don. Don't joke about this, Sarah. No, Any politician that accepts donations from the NRA should be absolutely ashamed of themselves. I mean, it is There is such... not a single, not a single excuse as to or how you could justify that or validate that. Why don't you just one time try it the other way around and see how many people just die? I mean, how many... I've literally lost count of the number of shoot school shootings in the US since the beginning of the year. Who fucking can keep count anymore? It's, it just gets to the point where it's, you're not sad and you're not angry anymore. You are just embarrassed for them. What is, like, what is going on? And I know there's going to be a lot of comments, well maybe not from our subscribers, but I know there's a lot of people who would tell us to butt out of American politics being British. But, hello, when was our last mass shooting? Like... It was in the 90s in that school in Dunblane, and I think they changed the laws. Similarly with Australia. And there wasn't one since. There wasn't one since. I think Australia's the same. Was there one in the 80s? And then they changed things around, and it never happened again, ever. Yeah. And it, this happens like every day. It's just. And to say it's a mental health problem, this isn't a mental health problem, because if a mental health. If someone with mental health problems was going to act out, you would much rather it was with a knife instead of an assault rifle. Do you know what I mean? Like, if that's the case, it's still a gun issue because if he didn't have a gun, he wouldn't be able to cause all of this absolute tragedy. It's just bizarre that they they feel like, a lot of Americans who would be for this, feel like there is this enemy that is, I mean, the Trump administration has completely whipped up this paranoia and fear that was there anyway, but to the point that, you know, people have this enemy in their head that someone's gonna come in and murder their family in their sleep, which is and just gonna such- be brown. It's just such a fake kind of threat because yeah. the real threat is the people that get hold of the guns that you're using to defend yourself against the fucking threat that isn't there. And statistically, it's very nice to point out as well that I think the percentage chance of a person who guns down a school of being a white cisgender man is like astronomical because these people aren't foreigners. These people are white, they are male, they're Americans, and these are the people killing people. So, it's pretty shoddy, it's not gonna change. There is a protest being planned, isn't there, on the 20th of April, oh, and a anything. lot of, well, how can it not do anything? A lot of staff and a lot of students oh, I see what are mean. planning to not attend school. And I think that is a fantastic thing to Don't do. Don't do it. Because what are they going to do? Are they going to suspend all of you? I think you guys, if you, in America, if you're a student watching this, I would never normally- Stay home. I would never normally encourage this, but I think to take, it is, it's your responsibility. If you care about your safety and if you care about the lives of your peers, you should stay at home. You shouldn't be going to school on the 20th of April. And that can really show the strength of numbers and staff members as well. I think teachers should really participate in this as well. It's so, ah, uh, you can't even get your head around the state of the world. Nova. What? We've come to a screeching halt in this video. And I know you've got, you've got your shitter, but we should just end it there. We should just Why? not let you have your time because we want to, we want to, and no, I'm just kidding, you should have yours. Well, I do feel kind of shit now because mine is so well, no, unbelievably I, trivial. Yeah, but that's great because then we'll end on a high note or a fun note. Okay. How well, trivial is it? It's very trivial. <laughs> we'll go on how trivial. This is like literal first world problems. Um, I'm really, really upset that we don't get to experience peach flavored Coca-Cola. <laughs> what? Is that a thing? It's a thing in Japan. <laughs> 
And yeah, I've but... seen on my Facebook a bunch of YouTubers reviewing it, people shipping it over from Japan. Um, I want to try that. The bottle is peach coloured. And I don't think it's even like the kind of caramel colour. I think it looks almost a bit like, like it's a lighter colour, like it's clear. I really want to try that. I wouldn't trust it. You know what they I do? Really do you want know to what they do that. in Japan? This is true, I heard this. Is a businessman can take a short lunch break, go into a cabin in the woods, and be provided with the company of a young lady for a short while, whereby she will be wearing a sheer stocking. What are you talking about? And the gentleman might sort of kneel on a very simple rush mat. And the lady will fart on his face directly on and up his nostril. This is racist. I have video evidence somewhere on the internet. I'll find this. I'll link you to it. That this happens. So she farts up his nose and then he goes back to work. That's just not a thing. Japan, everyone. I don't. I wouldn't trust that peach coke, no, if you don't know what's in it. Anyway, I really want to try it, and I'm hoping that we get a chance. I hope it comes over here. Maybe they'll have it in, like, Chinatown or something. You know those little candy shops that those, in Chinatown? Yeah, I, I would really love that, actually, because peaches are the best. Yeah, see? I really want that. What else is in the teachers of peaches? Oh, yeah. Wash. What? Peaches. You know the thing of peaches. Suck it on my titties like you wanted it, calling me all the time. I'm not familiar. What else is it? Okay, Fuck. is that the end of the video? Yeah, thanks for right. coming, everyone. <laughs> um, all our social media is in the description box below. Please subscribe to our channel and share with your friends. Oh, please subscribe. It's going on for too long now that no one knows us. What are some of your favourite ways of telling friends to subscribe to us? To get the numbers up. Okay. Share that too. Bye then. I will find that Japanese video. You're not gonna stop it. Oh. <laughs> Alright.